11 One day, Jesus was praying in a particular place. When he finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. This passage is from Luke 11 1 to 13 in the Bible. It describes an instance where Jesus was praying, and after he finished, one of his disciples asked him to teach them how to pray, just as John had taught his disciples. Jesus then proceeded to teach them the Lord's Prayer, which has since become one of Christianity's most well-known and frequently recited prayers. The passage also includes additional teachings from Jesus on the importance of persistence in prayer and the nature of God's response to our requests. When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. These words are the beginning of the Lord's Prayer, as taught by Jesus in Luke 11 2-4 and Matthew 6 9-13 in the Bible. The whole prayer is, And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The prayer is a model prayer for Christians. It contains several elements that reflect critical aspects of the Christian faith, including acknowledging God as our loving and Holy Father, praying for God's kingdom and will to be done on earth, asking for our daily needs to be met, seeking forgiveness for our sins, and asking for protection from evil. 5 And he said to them, which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, six for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey, and I have nothing to set before him. 7 He will answer from within, Do not bother me, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. This passage is from Luke 11 5-7 in the Bible and describes a parable that Jesus told his disciples. In the myth, a man goes to his friend's house late at night to borrow three loaves of bread to feed a traveler who has just arrived. The friend initially refuses to help because his family is sleeping, and he doesn't want to disturb them. However, the man persists in his request, and eventually, the friend gets up and gives him what he needs. The parable is often used to illustrate the importance of persistence in prayer. Just as the man was persistent in requesting bread, we should continue our prayers to God, even when our requests are unanswered. The parable also highlights the generosity of God, who is always willing to provide for our needs, even if we have to ask repeatedly. 8 I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet because of his impudence 3, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. 9 And I tell you, ask, and sin will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock, and it will be open to you. 10 For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. This passage is from Luke 11 8-10 in the Bible and continues the parable that Jesus told his disciples about the persistent man asking his friend for bread. In verse 8, Jesus explains that even though the friend may not want to get up and give him the bread because of their friendship, he will eventually do so because of the man's persistence. In verses 9 and 10, Jesus teaches his disciples about the importance of prayer and how God will respond to those who ask, seek, and knock. He encourages them to be persistent in their prayers and assures them that if they ask for something, it will be given to them, if they seek something, they will find it. And if they knock on a door, it will be open to them. Jesus emphasizes that everyone who asks, seeks, and knocks will receive a response from God. This passage highlights the importance of having faith in God and trusting that He will respond to our prayers. It also emphasizes the need for persistence in prayer, even when we may not see immediate results. Matthew, thank you for spreading awareness, and I hope this video reaches a broad audience.